sad day today because our ranch remodel tour is coming to an end. We are moving upstairs to this landing area with a 22 foot vintage runner and a gallery wall down the hallway. It takes you to two guest bedrooms that we'll share with you today. This bedroom turned out so beautifully. We were designing it and we loved this rust and blue palette. And we were playing with pillow combinations and then it came to me that we should be doing the bed in this color. So we went bold. I'm so happy that our clients went for it. We designed this custom headboard in a beautiful saturated color and then kept everything else light and airy so the bed could really shine. ensuite bathroom has this great stone herringbone floor and a wood vanity that has this vertical kerf detail and I love the little latch on the door. It flows nicely with the wood tones in the bedroom and it has that mountain feel we were going for. The views were crucial in how we set up both of these guest bedrooms. Space, we used a light bed and then we layered interesting textiles and oriented everything so that you could look out the windows, the beautiful view. You can see that we used tiny nightstands with task lamps to make use of the space. And then this flows really well into the bathroom where we did a dark wainscoting detail and the color of it is just so perfect. And I love that we did this dark on dark look with a dark stain and then brass hardware and fixtures. I love designing bunk rooms and so does our whole team. They're just fun. You have the opportunity to be more playful. And in here, we went black on the bunks and we designed this whole custom bunk system. They're queen beds so you can fit so many people. We did these natural wood ladders and then this interesting detail on the railing. And I love that you can tell that boys are gonna have a lot of fun in here. We did these great Pendleton blankets. We incorporated olive green throughout, which is one of my favorite colors. Across the room, we designed these lockers and they have a mesh detail, so they're nice and breathable. And then I love the added touch that the house numbers on the front of each locker brings. Now we're going to move to the playroom. This is a playroom for kids and adults. We have the shuffle board, the ping pong table. We have these beautiful windows looking out to the view. Great area for seating, watching TV, playing cards, and we incorporated more of that olive green that we're loving throughout. And then through these doors, we have olive green cabinets, a window seat, and lots of play space for littles. A few of my favorite details in this space are the leather handles on the built-ins. We also used library lights. I love when we can use a task light on a window seat. Anytime I have a new build or a remodel where we can wire for them, they just add so much to a window seat. And then of course the eclectic textiles, the cute striped rug, you can get it at McGee Co. And I love the vintage vibe of the chairs around the little art table. The layout of the bonus room with the great room is awesome. We have these two openings with pocket doors so you can corral all of the rowdiness and close them if needed or open them up if you have big gatherings. If you haven't checked out the other two videos of this project, it is easily one of the most beautiful homes that we've ever designed. So go check it out. 
Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.